Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is my guide to creating, saving, and sharing FX presets in BandLab. To use a BandLab effect preset, tap on effects at the bottom of the track record screen. Then scroll through the BandLab presets and tap on a BandLab preset. The name of the preset gives you some idea of what the effect preset does. The tick icon on the preset tells you the preset has been added to your track. Tap on the play icon to hear the effect on your track recording. Set your heart upon the sea. To change the BandLab preset, tap on a different preset. Set your heart upon the sea. To remove the effect preset from your track, tap on the tick icon. Set your heart upon the sea. Amps and cabs effects are guitar amp and cabinet simulators to help you get the right electric guitar sound. Pedals effects are a collection of effects that BandLab suggests are good for electric guitars. Delay effects create an echo of the track recording and are good for vocal tracks. Set your heart upon the sea. Distortion effects cause the recording to break up and add noise type harmonics, similar to the effect of turning the track volume up too loud and is good for heavy rock guitar sounds. Dynamic effects include compressors that help you to make the louder and quieter parts of the track recording the same volume. Set your heart upon the sea. A deesser to stop vocals sounding like a hissing snake. And a noise gate to help remove unwanted background noise from the recorded track. Modulation effects mostly alter the way the track recording sounds by continuously changing things like the volume pitch or tone of the track recording. Set your heart upon the sea. Pitch shift effects either change the pitch of the track recording or add harmonies. Set your heart upon the sea. Set your heart upon the sea. Reverb effects add a reflected version of the track recording to give the impression of distance. Set your heart upon the sea. Tone effects change the tone of the track recording by adding or removing sound frequencies. Utility effects includes the gain effect that is good for increasing the volume of a track recording. Set your heart upon the sea. You can only add one preset to each track, but you can add more effects to a preset. Tap on the settings icon. 
The row of icons at the top of the screen show the added effects. You can have a maximum of eight effects in a preset. To add an effect, tap on an effect in the row of effect icons, then tap on the plus icon. Then either tap on an effect type tab at the top of the screen, or just scroll down the effect list. Then tap on the effect you want to add. Notice how the new effect has been added to the row of icons directly to the right of the effect you previously tapped on. Set your heart, your heart apart upon the, sea. the row of icons are known as the effects chain, and the effects work from left to right. So the first effect on the left will be added to your track recording first, then the second effect from the left will be added to your track recording. That already has the first effect added to it. So the positioning of an effect in the effects chain will change how your track sounds. For example, if the first effect on the left is reverb and the second effect from the left is echo, both the track recording and the reverb will be echoed. Set your heart, your heart apart upon the sea. But if you swap the two effects around, so echo is the first effect from the left, only the track recording will be echoed and not the reverb. Set your heart, your heart apart upon the sea. To move the effects in the effects chain, press on the effect icon in the effects chain at the top left corner of the icon, then drag it left or right. To remove an effect, tap on the effect in the effects chain, then tap on the X icon at the top right of the effect. Tap on the toggle icon to turn the effect on or off. This is useful if you want to hear how the effect is changing the sound of your track. Set your heart upon the sea. Set your heart upon the sea. Some settings have a slider. Move the dot on the slider to change the setting. Sliders usually have a value box. The number in the value box changes when you move the dot on the slider. But you can tap on the box and type in a number instead of moving the slider. Some settings have toggle icons that you tap to select your setting. Other settings have drop-down lists. Tap on the drop-down list and tap on one of the lines in the drop-down list to select that setting. There are some oddities too, like this one in Auto Filter. You can tap on the beat icon to toggle it between beat and hertz. And you can tap on the number in the hertz mode to change the number. But in beat mode, you can't change the number by tapping on it. You have to use the slider instead. Tap on the plus icon. Then either tap on a tab at the top of the screen, or just scroll down the list, and tap on an effect. Tap on the plus icon to add more effects. Tap on the X icon to remove an effect. And press on the top left corner of an effects icon and drag to move an effects icon in the effects chain. With your effects preset open, 
tap on the three dots at the top right of the screen. Then tap on Save As. Type in a name for your preset and type in a description if you want one. A description is a good idea if you intend to share your preset. Now tap on a color for the background or tap on the camera icon and choose a picture from your device. Then tap on the tick icon at the top right of the screen. You can also save your preset from the presets screen by tapping on the three dots, then tapping on Save As. Tap on your saved FX preset. Tap on the three dots, then tap on Share. And tap on your email app. Now either send your email to someone you want to share your FX preset with, or copy the link text and paste it to wherever you wish to share it. For example, I have added my loud vocals effects preset to the description of this video. Depending on your device, you may also have other apps you can share the link with by simply tapping on that apps icon instead. Check out my free effects preset share link for louder vocals in the video description below. Open a BandLab project. Tap on the FX preset share link. Then tap on add to library. I have noticed that I have to tap on the link twice because the link does not always work first time. So you will probably have to do the same. Tap on effects on the track record screen. The shared effect preset will now appear in the preset list. Tap on the preset to add it to your track. You can tap on the settings icon to see the effects in the preset and you can change the effects and settings like any other preset. You can delete an effects preset you created or imported by ShareLink by tapping on the three dots. Then tap on Delete and tap on Delete again on the pop-up warning message. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.